Hey everybody, it's Dark Meta Drago, but you already knew that, and I'd like to welcome you to a Minecraft tutorial. Tutorials. So I wanted to know if you guys would be interested in me doing some more of these. Um, but as for right now, I'm going to show you how to build a really cool horse corral for your newly um, gotten horses. Why do I keep getting islands? Um, any giant land structures? Is this what I got? <laughs> Come on. Load out. Oh yeah, also, I got a Minecraft skin. Here, I, I will show it to you. It's a dragon. It's, it's cool. Alright, here we go. This looks like a... Yeah. Eh. Not great, but it'll do. So you don't need much room for this. I just want to move off the little island to see if we could actually find some legitimate horses. So, what you're going to need for this is a flat piece of ground. Um, I definitely recommend building this outside your base if you have, like, some piston door entrance because well it's kind of hard to get a um, horse through that so what we're gonna grab is we're gonna grab grass blocks because we're in creative so what I like to do is I like to grab spruce wood planks birch wood planks spruce wood logs you can use any two different logs I just think birch and spruce looks the best you are going to need fence. You are going to need fence gate. And you are also going to need torches. Or any other light source. So you can use redstone, lamps, or glowstone. Yeah. So, um, that is what we need. So, this is my first tutorial. So, oh, we also need glass. Because I think it looks very nice on the roof. Um, the only reason I grabbed dirt is to fill in that hole. So what you want to start off by doing is building a five tall pillar. I'm going to expand this out a little bit and I will meet you guys back here in a second. Alright, we're back. We just expanded it out a little bit more. So what you want to do here is, so we have our five tall pillar. We want to walk over five. Any distance is okay. Five is just the best. So two, three, four, five. And another pillar here. There are five tall pillar. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Okay, then we want to walk five back. One, two, three, four, five. So on this one, three, four, five. And then across to right here. Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now that that's done, so we just have four little pillars. You want to build a beam across to every pillar. Another good thing about this one is it's actually pretty cost efficient. If you're building this in your survival world, it's actually pretty easy to do. So, so I've actually um, built these in my creative world. So you should have a box like this. Here's the aerial view. Alright. So now you have to decide which side is going to face out. I hate flying. 
Are you flying? There we go. Okay, so I'm going to pick this side for the face out. So what I want to do is I want to put two fence gates in the center. That allows horses to pass through when they are both open. Then place those there. Um, for night's lighting, I like to put them right outside the gate. It also lets you know where the gate is. So that's nice. So you should end up with something like this. <coughs> Alright. Then what you want to do is you want to dig out everything in the middle here. You can leave what's under the pillars because they will be um, they will be covered anyway. Oh, whoops. Oh. So what I like to do is I like to fill the bottom with spruce wood. You can, of course, reverse it. And my computer is having some lag, which is bad, but okay. So, just make your floor here. And yes, it is a fact that horses like spruce wood. I also just think that the, um, the spruce wood logs are the coolest logs. Um, so, now that that's done, we have a little square here. So then you got to decide your pattern for the walls. There are multiple options here. You can do the one center pillar. You can do... I like it to have a maximum of two gaps. So you can do that. And I think that'll look nice. So very cost efficient for at least that part. So it's um, depending on your pattern. If I did a center pattern, it's 1632. It's 52 logs for this if I do all center patterns. But since I didn't, it's 56. And then what you want to do is you want to place your spruce wood planks, or your other wood planks, on the sides here. And just fill in the gaps. And as you can see, that corner completely disappears. All the corners actually do. So. If you um, need some more spruce wood, you're always welcome, or birch wood, or spruce wood, yes, spruce wood, you're always welcome to demolish the corners. Since I am in creative though, it doesn't really matter to me. And just completely mess up here. Okay, so now you should be looking in a room like this. Um, then what you get out is you get out your torches, place them too high, and then or three high on the wall, and place them on your spruce wood beams. And there you go. The inside is now complete. You can add whatever roof you want, and these are stackable, completely stackable. Very compact. Um, it's also a very good place to break horses if you need to um, if you need a, if you need to tame a horse, it's always a good place to. And then what I like to do is for added light during the day, I like to add glass to the top. Just fill out glass. Um, so once that's done, you are actually done. And then you can just lead your horse in here, or you can break it and then ride it in. So thank you all for watching this episode of Minecraft Tutorials. If you are interested in seeing more tutorials from me, um, please post in the comment section below. Um, you can always decorate this as well. 
like, I don't know, you could add like little fancy things there, the stairs. Actually, let's let's do this. Let's let's spruce this up. So um, I'm gonna grab some birchwood stairs and put those in the corner. I'm just totally improvising here. I think that looks nice. Actually, let's put them one down. And then there. Boom. That looks nice. Then we could fill that in with spruce wood plank. We could put a half slab there. Or a fence post. Which looks kind of weird. So, you can spruce it up any way you want. That looks interesting. <laughs> um, so the sun's going down, and we're going to end this tutorial. So thank you all for watching, and please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you haven't already, because, you know, helps me out, and you get to see some pretty cool videos. So, see you next time.